Hey Kawaii Scouts, so today I'm just gonna be doing an update, everything that's about the 2BU book that I have been raving about. This project started before I was making YouTube videos because back then I was so into photography and fashion photography. Most of you guys don't know why I'm gonna be talking about the 2BU street style book. This is actually my first book where I got featured in because of my quirky style. I'm actually happy that I made it into the cover as well. This is actually a project that was made by a team. This book actually consists of different categories of style. It has denim, it has K-pop and J-pop, it also has dapper, dandy. So if you guys are looking for an inspiration of what to wear today or tomorrow or, in a, or a party that you're going to, you might want to check this out. This is one of those books where you can get inspiration from on what to wear and also what kind of subculture or trends that you want to follow. So this is the cover of the book for the 2BU street style presented to you by Inquirer Lifestyle. So as you can see, I'm on the cover. Ha! I am on the cover. My first time being on a cover of a book. So I'm really proud of it. Okay, so let's flip it up and let's see what's inside. This is the first page. Of, you have the logo. So on the first page, you can see all the list of people who made this book possible. Here are the table of contents. We have Denim Goth, My Favorite, J-Pop, K-Pop, Laid Back, Preppy, Prince, Skater, Urban, quirky summer vintage sneakerhead. I'm a huge fan of the illustrator who made these. The name is Car Victoriano. You can follow him at Instagram. And I'm a huge fan of his arts and work. The first few pictures are like the people I don't really know of. But this one, I know them. They're part of the list of people who I scouted. My friend Yapo. Yapo is now in London. Shout out to Yapo if you're watching the video. He actually changed so much nowadays he doesn't really look like this and he doesn't really dress up like this nowadays <laughs> compared from before when I first met him. Paul Jotaina is the person behind OS accessories. I was wearing one of their accessories that's actually the earring that I was wearing on that video of the lookbook that I made last week. We're on to my favorite page, favorite category. It's called J-pop and K-pop. And you know her, Christine Bautista. And I call her anime friend, which is actually funny because she actually looks like one. Another one is Ageha. This kind of style is called Gyaru. So we're on my page. So let's talk about what I'm wearing here. Back then, as in talagang like, I think that was like year 2012 or 2011, back then when I was living in Baguio City. I'm such a huge fan of thrift stores. Madalas ako nag uukay -uk so lahat ng suot ko is except for the vest I got the vest from a department store I got the bag from pen shop the shoe I got it also from Ukay Ukay so I also tried checking online if tung Timberlands ko is real or fake luckily yeah they're actually real yung kinaganda nung shoes niya is meron siyang mga print na tribal or something like that and then accessories from a boutique shop and then one of my favorite bag which is now like sobrang sira sira na siya hindi siya tumagal sa akin this bag never really lasted for a year yung leather thing niya I think it's called a pleather because it's actually a plastic leather so it wears out faster compared to an original leather. It's really fun looking back at these photos and keeping like a sort of a timeline of everyone's personal style. Especially that half of the page in the book have grown out of their old style and decided to get out of their comfort zone to try something different. Personally, I no longer dress as colorful as before since lately I really prefer monochrome and sometimes neutrals just because of all of the trends lately. If you guys are into fashion, style, and subcultures, you definitely gotta get a copy of this book if you already have one. Let me know on the comments below which category of style do you fit in. And pretty much, I really love the category for K-pop and J-pop. I'm not really sure where I belong because I'm not really sure how I can categorize my style, but I've been labeled under K-pop or J-pop. But most likely, if I were to choose, my style would definitely belong under Japanese street culture, which is under J-pop. And I'm also so not sure why they name it K-pop or J-pop because K-pop and J-pop is a genre of music and not really sure if we can call it a style. And also if you guys want to get this book, this is only 250 pesos. It's now available in Power Books, National Bookstore, or Fully Book. Also a lot of things are going to be happening on December 10th which is the book launch for 2BU Street Style Book. And that's about it you guys. Thank you guys for watching. This is just really a quick video about the book. I would just like to announce that I was in a book 
vlog and thank you guys for watching and also do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel that's youtube.com slash jaro daily and don't forget to buy the book as well it's only 250 pesos it comes with a plastic cover so why not right <laughs> come on my plastic cover siya diba may libre ng plastic cover 250 pesos lang so it's so cheap and affordable it's not really cheap it's really affordable that's the right word because this is something that you want to own and keep it in your bookshelves and if you really want to keep a book where you can get inspirations from and in how to be trendy get yourself some copy of this book thumbs up this video if you guys want to see more updates about me of course duh. <laughs> so let me know if you already got a copy of that and also share me picture of it tweet me or tag me on your instagram photos and also on facebook thank you guys for watching and i will see you guys on the next video bye